Hello, this is Peter from HWBot and I just want to show you around the BIOS of the MSI X79A GD658D BIOS. So this is the main screen, it's quite similar to the BIOS on the Z68 motherboards. You have uh, various uh, settings, you can go to Eco mode, Standard mode and OCG2 mode, but we want a Standard mode because we want to adjust everything ourselves. So you can uh, change the, some of the, the settings, check out um, some of the details of your setup, um, stuff like that. We just disable because we don't need it in our in our testing. Um, you can go to uh, OC settings right here. As you can see, the the BIOS is actually quite quite snappy and quite responsive, which is. Um, uh, better than than the previous version of the BIOS, which was uh, not that sm that smooth actually. So you can press enter, and the menu will come up, and you can easily uh, select a, a different setting, and it will quickly adjust. It will also quickly calculate the the frequency. So it's it's quite a nice BIOS. This is, by the way, the 1.2 official version of the BIOS, but there are several beta BIOS out that you can try as well. Um, a neat feature of this BIOS that other boards has a f have a, has as well uh, is uh, the screenshot function. If you press F uh, F twelve and you have your USB key in the USB port, you can save a print screen uh, image of your of your settings. You can also uh, go to utilities here and. Um, no, not here. You can go to if you go to the overclocking profiles here. No, if you go to the overclocking profiles. You can actually save your OC profile to the USB key and also load it from the USB key. So, if you want to share your overclocking settings with someone else, it's it's easy to do now. So, um, this is pretty much the BIOS. Several voltages. Um, Nothing really special, actually. It's pretty much the basic stuff that you come across. Um, one thing is, uh, if you if you set the CPU ratio, it will always be fixed to the value that you set. So it's not like on the, the Intel uh, mainboard, where it will drop to uh, the 12 multiplier ratio every time. Uh, you can, if you go to Eco, you can disable all your phase control options just to make sure that you're running everything at, at full speed. So once you have set up everything, you just press uh, F10 and the bar will shut down. And you can see the boot process here. If you're stuck at B7 or B9, it's probably either uh, the memory frequency or uh, the voltage of your memory controller. Um, usually if it goes past uh, B9, it should be okay. It can also be stuck at uh, 94, which is uh, when you're pushing the, the B clock too far. So the board is booting up. Go on Windows 7. In general, I'd say that the boot process is a little bit longer than what you're used to, but you can work around that with disabling some of the features you don't really need. We can open CPC to check if the frequencies are running correctly. As you can see, uh, 4.7 gigahertz, and the main word is the GD sixty five eight D mainboard. We have the the box here as well, uh, just to show you what is included in uh, on on this board. It's uh, military class three components, uh, PCI Express Gen three, and the Click BIOS two. Um, there is a whole bunch of other features as well, um, which well you can check those in in reviews online. I mean there is uh, already quite a bit of reviews up so um, 
you can check what uh, experienced art, uh, editors think about it all right this was it i think see you all at hwbot